Hey everybody, it's Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team brought to you by Payne Auto Group Valley Wide and PayneAutoGroup.com where we have what you want to look at through Kieras regardless. And it's time for another edition of Payne Auto Talk. This episode of Payne Auto Talk is just little old me flying solo. And the subject matter is back to school. Dun, dun, dun. Done. And before we dive off into today's episode, we want to remind you that PayneAutoGroup.com has something special in store just for you to mark the occasion of back to school. And that is from Brownsville to Rio Grande City, no matter which Payne Auto Group dealership you go to, when you test drive a new or pre-owned vehicle, you will be entered to win a $300 Walmart gift card, perfect for back to school. That's right, courtesy of our friends at PayneAutoGroup.com. So take a test drive and be entered to win 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, PayneAutoGroup.com. You all rock. Now, let's get after it. Well, here we go. Back to school. It's not just for the little ones. It's also their parents, teachers, and also school staff, both on campus and off. Hats off to our transportation personnel in all of our school districts, the mechanics there making sure that the vehicles are running correctly, and also dispatchers and, of course, our drivers. That's right, the drivers of those school buses making the wheels go around and around. Also, be on the lookout for them, and when they put out their stop signs, stop when they're unloading and loading students, and also don't forget that school buses, they have to stop. They have to, according to state law, they have to stop at every railroad crossing, no matter if the lights are on or off. They do a visual check to make sure that a train or other maintenance vehicle on the tracks is not coming at them already. Now, When it comes down to our vehicles, that's right, it's a morning commute. It's going to be a little bit more congested in the morning and also in the afternoon, the later afternoon, around 3 o'clock when school starts letting out. So be on the lookout for those school buses and also your fellow motorists. And one of the best things you can do when driving in that school traffic is to use your turn signal. Believe it or not, that little action of flicking that switch left or right or even putting on your four ways, your hazard lights, guess what? That will help inform your fellow motorists if you have to stop, if you're making a turn, or if there's an emergency up ahead. That little action of using that turn signal works miracles, believe it or not. Now, when it comes down to our vehicle working properly, make sure you do a walk around in the morning. That's right. I know you took your vehicle on a couple of long trips across the Lone Star State and elsewhere for vacation, but we've got to make sure that not just for long trips, but all that stop and go traffic and our daily commute to and from home and also by the school that your vehicle is in tip top shape. And of course, the four things that contact uh, the ground at all times as a part of your motor vehicle is what? your tires. Be sure you have the proper pressure. Make sure that your tread is okay. There's nothing sticking out uh, in the tread. Make sure that, uh, believe it or not, even if your tires look great over time, they actually start to lose pressure. So monitor them both with a manual gauge that you can have and just keep in the car or even your tire pressure monitoring system. That's right. Scroll through that menu and guess what? It'll tell you your tire pressure. If it doesn't, it'll alert you and you can bring that into maintenance, all right? Now, when it's the tires, guess what? It's been hot, yes. Make sure that your air conditioner is in proper working order. If the fan motor isn't blowing hard or if it's on and off now and then when you're not touching the controls or if it starts not cooling properly, guess what? It's time to bring that thing in for a checkup. Also, heat It affects rubber content and rubber uh, components as well. Not just your tires, but your belts, 
your hoses, your windshield wiper blades. And if you have an SUV, guess what? Or a minivan, you've got that wiper blade on the back of the lift gate. And you got to keep those in proper order. And they do wear out over time. The rubber on those, that's like your tires. Over time, it's a sacrificial item. Also, for those of you driving hybrids and electric vehicles, your tires are a little bit different. So keep an eye on those as well. Now, when it comes down to other parts of our vehicle, like I said, the turn signal, make sure your lights are working, your headlights, your turn signals when you hit the brake light. Yes, make sure those are in proper working order. And also, your vehicle has a small light on the back for the license plate. And in the state of Texas, if that lights out, that is a no-no, and that is a guaranteed pullover by law enforcement. They will get you for that one. Also, the lights inside your vehicle, your dome light, make sure those are working, and your dashboard lights. Also, make sure that your uh, steering wheel is in proper working order. If it's loose, if it's shimmying on its mount, or let's say the uh, telescoping and tilt isn't working, whether it's manual or even electric, you got to bring that in as well. And one thing you can do when you're at work, don't do it in the car while you're driving, but you can check on your phone or your computer when hooked up to the internet. And guess what? You can look up any recall on your vehicle. Manufacturers will always put out a recall note. They used to send them in the mail, and they still do, but you can check real quickly according to the make and model of your vehicle, and also its year model. That is very important as well. But when you're doing your walk around in the morning, before you even fire your vehicle up, make sure there's nothing leaking on the ground, no oil, no uh, transmission fluid, no coolant, and also Pop that hood and uh, check that dipstick. Make sure you wipe it off with a clean cloth or, you know, paper towel and make sure you dispose of that properly. But also reinsert your dipstick that checks the fluid. Now, some modern vehicles, they don't even have a dipstick for the transmission. They just have a sight glass. So keep... uh, Keep your mileage in mind because after a certain time, yes, your transmission fluid should be changed to do a transmission flush. Also, your coolant system, after a while, that has to be changed out. That has to be flushed. And also a pressure check and uh, coolant uh, added in your air conditioner system. All of those things can be done. Uh, at Payne Auto Group Service Centers Valley Wide from Brownsville to Rio Grande City. We're there for you. We have professional staff. They're very courteous. And also, we're going to get to the root of the problem and assess your vehicle to make sure that it is in proper working order for you and your family. And I will say this right now the Payne Street Team uh, SUV, it's in maintenance. Why? Because that dang old AC, guess what? It started putting out a little bit of hot air and even I had a coolant leak. That's right. There's no magic bubble that surrounds the Payne Street Team SUV. That's right. Some components do wear out over time. And for those of you who bring your vehicle into maintenance, guess what? Yes, some parts do take a while to get there. In the past couple of years during the COVID times, yes, we did have an issue with microchips. We had a shortage on that, a shortage of vehicles. That is all that is a uh, come back into or actually it's uh, we've got plenty of stock now on vehicles. And now one issue is parts, part delays and shipping. But guess what? We're getting those in as soon as we can. And we're addressing those problems and rectifying it as soon as possible. In the meantime, I know I've got an awesome loaner vehicle and we do have those if your car is going to be in for a while. So make sure you check with management on that. And also all of your invoices, make sure you keep those emails, texts. And also here's a little tidbit. When calling and talking to our service advisors, be it uh, through text or online, and uh, also face-to-face or on the phone, be sure you jot down their name. Yes, sometimes people get a day off. Sometimes that particular advisor is working with another customer at that time. But guess what? We do add that personal touch. And guess what? Our service advisors and staff at our service centers, they want to make sure. They're people too. They're working folks too. And they want to make sure that you get the best parts and replaced and in the best timely manner as possible possible. And that is at Payne Auto Group Valley Wide. Now, here's something that I was doing a while back. 
And uh, it was during the summer months, and I'm going location to location doing my thing with the street team. And I was vacuuming uh, my interior out, and I took my floor mats out, and I was reinstalling them. Now, in my vehicle, it has a couple of little uh, tabs that lock the floor mat in, but when I was first putting it in, you know, I just I just kind of put it in there and started moving it into position, but the front of my floor mat was laying on top of my brake pedal. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm glad that this thing can be, you know, tacked down by its attachment points, but some floor mats out there and floor mat systems don't, especially in older vehicles. And guess what? You don't want that floor mat coming loose, sliding to the side, and then laying over the accelerator or your brake pedal Or for some of you out there still shifting there on the console, you don't want that uh, rubbing on or interfering with the operation of your clutch, your brake, or your accelerator. That's not good in traffic. It's not good on the highway. It's not good, period, because we want to make sure that we maintain control of our vehicle at all times. So make sure that your floor mats are reinstalled properly. And if you have an issue with those, we can check that out, too, at Pain Service Centers Valleywide. Now, I was recently told, uh, this little tidbit, that uh, it purrs like a kitten until it doesn't. That's right. Murphy's Law happens. Sometimes that's the luck of the draw. And when we're on the highway and we have an issue or even on a city street, guess what? It's time to pull over. Remember, pull if you have to pull over in an emergency on the road, pull over to the right side of the vehicle. If your vehicle is still in motion and you are able to, always pull over to the right side of the road. Sometimes I see my fellow motorists getting uh, in an emergency situation or even pulled over by law enforcement, and especially on the highway right now, they will pull to the left and stop there at the concrete median. That is is not good. The left lane is for passing and those people are flying by. So in the interest of the safety of your fellow motorists, also law enforcement or emergency vehicles and yourself, please pull over to the right side of the road. And when you do, make sure you slow down, come to a proper stop, turn on your four-way hazard lights, your emergency flashers, and also turn the wheels, the steering, to the right. That's right. We don't, you know, to have them go straight if you're accidentally rear-ended by another motorist or you don't want the wheels turned to the left because as the car goes forward, you do not want it being steered into the flow of traffic. So be sure that you turn your wheels to the right. Also, make sure that your vehicle is shifted into park, all right? If you can exit the highway and uh, pull off onto the right side of the frontage road, that's even better. Also, do not um, exit the vehicle on your driver's side. If you can, uh, be on uh, the passenger side on the right. If you can't, stay in your vehicle, keep your seatbelt on, and then call Uh, for a tow truck. Make sure you inform uh, law enforcement there for your safety and for the safety of your fellow motorists. Now, if you find yourself, uh, I'd hate to say out in the middle of nowhere, but if it's kind of out there in the sticks, uh, you want to make sure that you have some items in your car. And I always say, please keep some sort of bag or a container that does have some things. Now, of course, our vehicles do have a, a, they come with a jack and uh, tire change because that's a, an, uh, a common problem Why we pull over is a flat tire. But uh, make sure that you have your cell phone charged. Make sure you have a charging cable for it. Uh, make sure you have your license, your registration. Of course, that's a sticker on there, but also it's good to have the invoice for that. Also, your on your insurance card, your 1-800 number for that as well. If you do carry more than that, a small toolkit, screwdrivers, pliers, and um, warning triangles, if you have those reflective ones that collapse. Also, a first aid kit for yourself in case uh, you get out and you're working and you bust a knuckle or you you hurt yourself and you're alone. You want to make sure you can uh, 
tend to first aid there. If you have a small toolbox, you know, make sure you keep your screwdriver, wrenches, if you even have a small mallet or hammer, all that, but also a set of jumper cables and a spare tire. And one thing is, I would recommend this, you know, carry a couple of bottles of water. I mean, we we, we see them every now and then, you know, maybe a, just a 20 ouncer or maybe even a liter. Just always keep water in the car. Water is life. You know what I mean? And uh, if you have the ability to keep your uh, like a spare quart of motor oil or transmission fluid or even some coolant, hey, an old milk crate. Hey, those things work great for keeping everything tied in together. It doesn't take that much space. Keep it in the trunk. Or if you have your truck box in your pickup truck, that's a great place to keep it too. But even in the daytime, make sure that your emergency four ways are on and you're not stuck in heavy traffic. All right. And always call for help. All righty. And help can get to you as soon as possible. Even on the back of your Texas state driver's license, there is a 1-800 number there for roadside assistance. And you can call it. Guess what? As a taxpayer in the Lone Star State, that's right. Your taxes are used for that. So give that number a call and they can give you some roadside assistance. All right. This back to school season, we hope it's a great school year for our students, Teachers, faculty, staff, maintenance personnel, whether they be on campus or not, we want you to have a great, safe one out there. Be sure in this heat to stay hydrated. That's right. In normal activity, building to building, if you're out there on the gridiron, on the court, hey, my fellow band nerds, I know how it is marching and tooting on that horn out there in the heat. Stay hydrated, okay? And uh, we hope you have a great back-to-school season. Don't forget, drop by any Payne Auto Group dealership from Brownsville to Rio Grande City. Take a test drive in any new or pre-owned vehicle, and you will be entered to win a $300 Walmart gift card. That's right. It's back-to-school time, and this program is happening because of our friends at Payne Auto Group dot com that brings us up to an end of this edition of pain auto talk it's back to school time also safe and courteous driving to everybody out there we'll see you soon out there on the road look for the pain street team in your town we'll be at civic events and other events and charity events all right i hope to meet and greet y'all hey big smile to everybody make sure you say hello to a stranger because a stranger is a friend you just haven't met yet all right that about wraps it up here for me thank you all very much for joining me on another edition of pain auto talk I am Chris Marshall of the Payne Street Team, brought to you by Payne Auto Group Valleywide and PayneAutoGroup.com, where we have what you want. Lo que tu quieres, regardless. And we are gone.